Are you serious? Matthew 24, 29 talks about the sun turning dark. But did you know that the Bible also talks about signs in the heavens and great signs and fearful sights and signs in the sun and the moon and the stars? As a matter of fact, Matthew 24, 9 says this, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Well, there's something going on, folks, as that seems to be a lot of activity on the sun as of recent. Matter of fact, today, there's been a powerful solar flare, uh, an M5 class solar flare erupted on the sun, Radio blackouts are expected. The sunspot was AR2257 erupted today, producing an M5 class solar flare, uh, a pulse of extreme UV radiation from the flare ionized Earth's upper atmosphere over Australia and the Indian Ocean. Mariners and ham radio operators may have already noticed a brief communications blackout at the frequencies below 10 megahertz. Now, um, this thing was very powerful. Matter of fact, here's a, just a little bit of a... Uh, and, and here's why. Okay, over Australia, I'm going to show you that map right there. You can see that's where, and this is a NASA report, and you can see where there was the intense UV rays and some CMEs, coronal mass ejection, released from the sun. Um, the plasma cloud possibly will miss Earth. Let's hope it does because of the sunspot's off-center location. But we already know the UV lighting, the U UV rays, um, have already uh, hit over top Australia there and has affected, no doubt, the ham radio operators and some of the others in communications. Uh, NOAA forecasters have estimated a 40% chance of another M-class solar flare uh, later today, even as much as possibly a X-class flare. There's a small chance there could even be an X-class. They believe there will be another M-class. So keep an eye on that. Uh, again, very powerful signs in the heavens. Signs that are shaking the heavens. You know, when it says the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It also says it in Luke 21. For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming up on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then when you begin to see these things come to pass, he says, then lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. You're going to see the signs of the second coming of the Son of Man. I, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for his return. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. You might say, how do I do that, Pastor? You'll say that a lot of times, like, get right with God or give your life to Jesus Christ. How do I do it? Well, you got to believe first. Start with believing. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God? There is a creator of all this mass universe and that he gave his Son as a redemptive gift to fallen humanity. That he loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. No, it should not perish, but have everlasting life. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Repent of your sins and just ask by faith, okay? For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works. At least any man should boast. It's a free gift. It's free. Just receive it. We're in the last days. I'm on here every day. I do a three-hour live broadcast, Monday through Friday, 
generally, unless I'm traveling, preaching somewhere, which I'll be in New York City preaching this Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, in the Bronx, New York, at Harvest Army Church International. I'd love to see if you're anywhere in the East Coast. But I'm on here every day, YouTube videos, live three-hour broadcasts about current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Sunday Night Live I do another three hours. I'm preaching on Sunday mornings and revivals. Look, we understand we're in the last days, and I've been given a, a responsibility by God, a great commission. That's something you don't hear much anymore, but that is the reason we're even in the ministry. All, every person that should be involved in ministry work, is in it for one major reason, the great commission of God to lead people to Jesus Christ. And certainly in these days we live in, our message should be the king is coming. Are you serious? And you can see the apocalyptic signs everywhere of his soon return. Don't miss today's live broadcast at 12 noon Eastern. I'll be on from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern. At my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Or if you're not home, but you don't want to miss it, you can dial this phone number and listen to it on your cell phone from Blog Talk Radio. And here's the number, 347-324-5208. That's 347-324-5208. Listen to the whole three hours on your cell phone. Or if you want to watch it, just download the Paul Begley Prophecy app. Get it on your iPhone or Android smartphone. It's free. It's a free app. And you can watch the live broadcast on your phone by using the app. That's amazing. Are you serious? It's amazing. The technology that we can use to further the kingdom of God. Are you saved?